What's going on everybody, CJC presents one of the workouts in anime, and today we are tackling the special log, Kobe's Combat Chronicle. Let's get started. Oh, Luffy cheesing? Let me see it one more time, let me see it one more time. Okay, nice. Alright, so as you can see, I have not started this yet. Um, I'm looking forward to it, I don't know what to expect. Um, it looks to be like a story. Oh, okay, so... So some characters aren't playable. Okay. Who isn't playable then? Okay, so... Rooftop Luffy. All of the Straw Hat Pirates, just to showcase. And... Jinbei, of course, because he's considered a Straw Hat. Um... Okay, so it's just the Straw Hat crew. Alright, because this is Kobe's Combat Chronicle, I think it makes sense for us to be Kobe. Like, oh... Oh, dude, no way Kobe has his own loading screen. That's kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Um, okay, so this is who we're starting out with. I see. Okay. Um, I think the skills are fine. Uh, I did make some changes. Again, I've been playing him off screen. This is just what I have. Um, if I need to make changes, I will make changes. Um, I don't know what to expect, to be honest. So I'm not sure. Uh, I'll definitely swap out Swallow Kick for Iron Leg Barrage. That's a really good move. Um, Yeah, let's do it. And he has his own loading screen. And he has a little jump. That's cool. Okay, I like that. Usually I cut out the lo loading screens if there's more. Um, you know, We'll see how this goes. Because I don't know how long this is. So we shall see. We shall see. But yeah, what are you guys' thoughts on DLC Pack 5 thus far? I've really been loving it, and you know, this is my first hand at the special log here. Okay, so Kobe's just chasing Luffy. Similar to how Garp is always, uh, you know, having a hard on for Roger. Um, okay, so we have some interesting. Whoa! So this is like a survival mode. That's pretty cool. I like that. Okay. That's something new. I don't think we've ever had a survival mode, if I'm not mistaken. Although I will say I've been loving how Kobe plays. Uh, I really have been. Um, definitely, you know, been sh sl shitting on him for sure um, pre-release. But now that I get to play as him, I love how how he moves, how he dashes through the field. Um, or the territories, rather. Um, very fun character to play as. And I already beat all the commanders. Let me just uh, take over the land and might be uh, the territory. It might be easier to just, um, to maneuver around. So I'll just beat everyone up, get some KOs. This way we can get an S rank mission because I I don't know what to expect. So yeah skill like heat up and worked up work really well with Kobe because I just did 7,000 hits so pretty cool pretty cool oh we got Bellamy here let's just let's just pull this out full force burst wow one kick one kick is all it takes yeah I bet you guys weren't expecting uh, some <laughs> <laughs> CJC singing here. Okay, I mean, this is cool. I, I like how this is so far. Um, I mean, Bellamy was pursuing uh, Luffy, but not anymore. So are we just chasing Luffy around? Like, I'm so confused what's happening here. Okay. And it's been fairly easy. Again, I don't... I don't remember what the level is. Um, okay, so where's Luffy? He's over here now. Yeah, we just look how effortlessly Kobe dashes. I love it. It's really um, true to a speed type. Oh, okay, so Bartholomew and Boa. Let's go fuck them up real quick. Jeez, how easy is this? Like, what, <laughs> what level is this on? Look at that. That was a rider kick. I don't care what anyone says. That was a rider kick. Kobe Loki, a common rider. Captain Kobe. Okay, nice. 
I'm just trying to make sure I take out enough enemies to get S rank. Um, okay, so now he is over here, so let's just follow him. Where are you going? What? There's not even a... What? There's not even a fucking port over there. Where are you going? <laughs> this is the warehouse area. I know this is nowhere near the port in Dressrosa, but alright. Uh, what does this mean? So, I, I reached the target area. Okay. Oh, wow. That was actually like, really short. Okay. Yeah, so I needed more enemies for sure. Um, I mean, I don't know what they expected me to do, but... That's what it is, I guess. Okay. 30, 30 beans. Um... I see. Okay, so I can either continue... Or suspend. I think we'll keep it going. I think today will be a longer video. Um, if the missions are this short, and mind you, like, I'm pretty high level, uh, we can keep going. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so this is day number one. Alright, let's just be sure we try to get an ass rank here. I don't know why I said it like that. An ass rank. An ass rank. Trackers. Okay, so they're gonna be chasing me. Oh, what the fuck? They take no damage. Okay, well, never mind. <laughs> never mind. I will fight Taishi. Tashigi, thank you. No, yeah, they took no damage. I mean, those are bodyguards. Yeah, no, the trackers are like, yeah, dude, we're, t we're tanking this, Gobes. Sorry. We, we were trained by Emu himself. <laughs> we take these hits, Kobe. Okay, so now she leaves, puts out more bodyguards, and let's just smash the ground. Fire at once! Pew 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 pew! Okay. So... There's even side missions too. But I again, I like... This is interesting because... My thoughts are, are, are scrambled. This special log is essentially what we wish we could have gotten in um, Treasure Log. Oh, Tashiki was easy money. Oh, and the trackers disappeared. So I'm going to go ahead and take care of the side mission here. Um, oh, and the midpoint appeared. Okay, so if I want to move on, I think I have to go to the midpoint. So let me just do the side mission first. So we'll attack whoever, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we wish... I don't remember if this was a regular side mission in the main game anyway. In Treasure Log. But, you know, a cool mission like this involving the DLC characters, hey, that would have been really cool to have. Although, Kienmon is base game, but just not the playable version. So I would have liked to have seen, you know, more DLC characters be a part of Treasure Log. Which, they are not. Even when you do the four player missions, they rarely, I mean... I've never seen it, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but I've never seen the AI pick a DLC character as their playable character. It's always been like, um, the old Yonko or something, the old, uh, Emperor or whatever, the, the final four player mission with Big Mom, up against Big Mom and Kaido, um, rarely. If, you know, unless you're playing with other people, then, you know, you're not, uh, getting DLC characters as your allies. It's just base game characters. Okay, so you have to, you, oh. Yeah, you have to stay here. You can't do anything else. You just have to stand there. Okay, day two. Oh my god. Excuse me. So day two, we are fighting commanders. We just have to take on two of them. Okay, this is this is pretty easy. I mean, I get to fight Do Flamingo as well. Interesting. Okay, so it's a Katakuri side mission. 
Okay, first off, that was pretty fucking cool. Whoa, whoa. Katakuri just pulled out of nowhere. He's like, alright, um, I've arrived. That was pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. What? Sorry about that, I've been yawning like crazy. Very sleepy, let me tell you. But uh, alright, let's go fuck up Do Flamingo. I wonder if he if Kobe has dialogue with Dofi. I doubt it. Look at that rider kick. You're, if you're telling me he don't watch Common Rider every now and then. You're a liar. Right, let me just get out of the red here because the God Threads are very annoying. I'm pretty sure that's what his um, awakened ability is, God Thread. The little tentacle thing. Oh, okay, he appeared again. I see. Let me go fuck you up, Dofi. And unless I'm mistaken, I don't remember Brulee's ability, but isn't it just the mirror world? So did he just dip to the mirror world and come back? I'm very confused about um, her, you know, what should we call it? Her involvement, I guess. Oh, so he appeared one more time. Let's go find him. And again, it's cool to see these kinds of kind of um, side missions. Uh, just wish we saw it in the treasure log. I definitely think there is an issue with its coding, the game's coding, that they cannot allow or add um, any missions to the treasure log. It has to be through a different game mode. Which is interesting, but, you know, I digress. Okay, it's a success. Let's uh, get up on out of here. Okay, so it's day number three. We are still at Sabodi, and what do we have to do now? Uh, I am going to get in your way. I'm a captain, buddy. Also, we have to defeat 20 pirate commanders. Okay. Ooh. Alright, so obviously, once we do that side mission, I'm obviously going to have to take out Frankie. Just because the Pacifista is on our side. And I'm so sick and tired of defeating Pacifista in this game, considering all that's happened to Kuma. Um, spoiler alert, by the way, for those who are not caught up in Egghead. But yeah, I can't be beating up Pacifista all the time. I gotta do some marine based missions. <laughs> As per my last Kobe video, I don't know if you guys remember, um, but I made a comment saying that I find it interesting that Kobe doesn't have a unique interaction with Blackbeard, but he actually does have one with Law. Now, again, correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section below. Um, did him and Law share, you know, Kobe and Law share a bunch of interactions? Like, I don't remember that being the case at all. So, it, it'll be interesting. Um, to see why that, that's the case. Because if I'm not mistaken, the Rocky Port incident like was confirmed way before Film Red was released in theaters. Because um, that's when I'm assuming this DL DLC pack started. Once it released, or like you know maybe after the US release, they were like, all right, let's work on this game. It is day four. Okay, okay. I really do like if we get to fight the other characters. Again, I just wish it was in the base game, but you know, I, I can't complain too much, really, that's the reality of it. Okay, so we have Kiro's mission. Let's beat these goons up and get a move on. Wow, so he doesn't have interaction with Sanji? Really? That's weird. Why would you not have an interaction with Sanji? Uh, I have no idea. Unless it's more so, um... You know, because it's Kobe or whatever. But yeah, the fact that he, does, he, he didn't have one with Sanji there, I mean, that's interesting. Pretty sure I did everything, so let's get a move on here. 
Okay, day number five, and we have to save Joseph, really? Why are you in danger of fleeing? How? Who messed you up that bad, besides myself? Okay, we literally just sped that through the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, this is... This is it. Oh! Oh! Loving how Coke plays, let me tell you. Uh, I want to take out Cavendish, I guess. Oh! Hello! Nice. Oh, so that's kind of annoying. You might have to wait until the mission is complete before you move on. Which is a little stupid. I mean, they should be confirmed like ASAP. Like, oh, you did it? Here you go. Here's your reward instead of having to pause it and figure that out. Having to read the 28-page Word document sent to you about what you should and shouldn't say. Okay, dude, I love Kobe's freaking gliding. It's incredible. Oh, that's it. Okay. That was, a, that was longer than what we're accustomed to. Oh, okay. When there's side mission tabs as well. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay. Alright, 759. It's not bad. Got a bunch of coins. Some of them I don't even use anymore. Okay, and a bunch of souls. So this looks like a pretty good way to get souls. 400 thou. Let's continue. We'll do one more. We'll see how that feels. We'll see. We'll see how we feel after one more. Absolutely. Ooh, so we get training effects. That's pretty cool. Um, I am on board with this. There, there's the photo. Okay. I mean, those are my stats for Kobe. The bottom right. Honestly, give me some more souls, dude. Give me more souls. Yes. 10%. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Oh, so we are in Wano now, and we are going to take on some enemies. We got some pirate commanders. I'm trying not to go into the poison water. Yeah, Marines. Shoot them. Shoot them. Uh, okay, we're just. I mean, this has been pretty easy so far. Um, so I'm curious going forward if it's going to be a little more difficult. Yeah, I've been having a lot of fun. Uh, the, the route one or second uh, combo route option, definitely pretty good for uh, guard break, especially against Logia. I love how Kobe plays, man, for real. Not complaining at all. Alright, let's take out Jabra. The little tornado is pretty cool too. Come on, Jabra. Say! Okay, let's go. We just cooking job, bro. We cooked that wolf. It, it was BBQ. Okay, that's all he has to say. I just said. All right, let's move on. Let's do it. Oh, so I don't even carry my allies with me? That sucks. Alright, this is what it is. 500? Oh, this is easy. Easy shmoney. Okay. In actuality, Kobe- Oh, look at that. One special move did that. In actuality, Kobe stands no chance against Big Mom, but in this game, anything is possible. Shit, even Bartholomew can. Am I ever going to play Bartholomew? Absolutely the hell not. I will not play Beige. Shit. I played Chopper a couple times, and that was horrible. Alright, so Buggy's giving me a little offer. Thank you. I guess. Well, the only thing he's offering is uh, money for the Heads of Marines. Shout out Cross Guild. Alright, so we're day number 8 here. I wonder if it's by 5 day uh, increments, maybe? But I think the way I'll describe it is just the first 3 stages. Uh, and a savior. 
Oops, forgot my uh, worthy thing. Yeah, he is so good. I'm a big fan of, uh, of Kobe for sure. Why is Doflamingo back here? I just kicked her ass two parts ago of this video. Hold on, she thought it was his own ass. Hey, yo! Very good character, I must say. Uh, I will scream this at the mountaintops. I regret what I said about Kobe. He is not a glorified beige. He is so much better, guys. Beige is like a D tier character. He's one of the lowest tier characters in the game, but honestly, tch. Fucking Kobe had that? That's gotta be crazy. But. Uh, I definitely think Kobe, realistically, is like mid to low A tier type character. Alright, so now let's go fuck up either uh, Doflamingo or Ace, and realistically, probably Dofi, just because with Ace, um, it's a bit hard for this character, at least, to do damage to his normal player. Okay, this sounds good to me, I guess. Let's head over to the midpoint, and uh, let's just go from there. Where the hell is this midpoint? Here it is. I'm loading! Alright. I believe one more or two more. Oh, we get to fight uh, Smoothie now. Nice. Okay, let's keep it at it. Let's keep at it. Oh, the trackers are back. Oh, shit. They on my ass. Fucking impossible to deal damage to for no reason whatsoever. And just, yeah, we're gonna make you the most difficult character in the game. By far. Even farther than uh, Whitebeard in that one stage. If you thought he was strong, we got something else for you. Shit. Yeah, but yeah. If that, even if that would have happened, no, thank you. Ooh, wow. Okay, okay. Uh, what does it say? Defeat bodyguards. Okay. I see that, okay. Oh, I just want to fight smoothly, get these fucking trackers out the way. Um, a villager appeared. Why? Ah, another incident between Law and uh, Cody. For some reason, I was gonna say kid. I've just been shitting on this character so much, it's like force to have it. Alright, let's fucking be a Burgess. Wait, that was says Burgess. Man, let me tell you guys, I am sleepy. I think there's gonna be some parts where I cut out because I'm just like talking gibberish. Wee! I'm literally just jumping over this lamppost until someone pops up. All right, so we got the villager. Let's see what else there is to do. I mean, this might be the last stage. I'm not too sure, but we'll take a look. Oh, okay, one more stage. Oh, you know what? That was day that was day nine, that's right. It makes sense for that to be a day ten. So I guess they do it in five day increments. So I'm guessing the next part you're gonna see part what is that, day twenty, twenty-five, and thirty, I guess. So every like fifteen maybe. Fifteen days or so. I'm not too too sure. I think ground kick would have been perfect here, uh, according to one of my subscribers, because it's an instant guard break. And one of my biggest issues with Kobe is that he's very difficult to play guard. Like once you have your um, eye side on something, then he'll just pure fire. That brings us to the end of today's video. Um, wait, you're telling me that didn't register? Why? Okay. Um, well, yeah, like I said, that brings us to the end of today's video. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. I would greatly appreciate it. Like and subscribe. Stay tuned for part two of when we do Kobe's Combat Chronicle. Peace.